we present a novel glacier authoring method based on simulation and procedural modeling. Our contributions include an interactive glacier simulation, realistic placement of detailed features, and intuitive control tools. We start from a terrain height field and physical parameters. Then, we simulate the evolution of the glacier layer, and compute location maps for the different features. User control is possible at all stages. Finally, we extract a mesh with detailed features using the location maps with a texture bombing approach. The areas where more snowfall is accumulated than melted every year, define the glacier accumulation zone. The snow is compacted into glacier ice, and begins to flow downhill due to ice deformation and basal slide. This slow-moving flow is constrained by terrain morphology, and will reach elevations below the equilibrium line before being completely ablated. Here we show a simulation session running in real time. Snow accumulates above the equilibrium line altitude, which we can lower or raise at any moment, and the formed glacier flows down the valleys. We can also modify accumulation and ablation rates, or use brushes to remove and add ice. The steady state of a glacier depends on the terrain and control parameters, but not the initial conditions. For example, the initial user drawn ice cap on the right, flows down and eventually melts, resulting in the same state as in the left simulation. In this animation, we start from a steady glacier and lower the equilibrium line altitude, making the ice tongues advance down the valleys. Once the glacier reaches the new steady state, we raise the equilibrium line altitude, causing the ice to melt and retreat. Here we show the results of glacier simulations on a variety of terrains. Once we have the simulated ice layer, we will procedurally place its most distinct features such as transverse, marginal and longitudinal crevasses, moraines, rimes, ice falls, and ogives. For each feature, we compute a placement map, which will be used to create the highly detailed mesh and textures for rendering. These are some comparisons between real pictures and our modeled features. This sequence shows a comparison between the initial bare bedrock and the final glaciated terrain. The following videos show the results of our method on some scenes, including the simulated ice layer and procedural features. Here we see an area with a large density of transverse crevasses. Steep sections of the glacier create icefalls, with many crevasses and seracs. In this valley, three flows converge, separated by medial moraines. Ogives also appear on the flows below icefalls. This view shows another region of the same terrain. Finally, the next clips show the glacier formed on another mountainous terrain.
Please see the paper for more details, and check out our provided implementation. Thank you for your attention.